Good morning and welcome. We are continuing our daily video devotions to the book of 1 Samuel with 1 Samuel chapter 22. And if you've been following along with us for the past few weeks, you'll know that the main narrative here in 1 Samuel is this rivalry that's developed between King Saul and David. And you'll know that this rivalry is really one-sided because it's only King Saul who seems to be so caught up in this proverbial rivalry. And King Saul so caught up in this rivalry because Saul's quite jealous of David. And Saul is jealous of David because God seems to be with David in everything that David does. And over the past few weeks, we read time and time again when Saul has tried to put David to death, when he's pursued David, when he's tried to capture David, when he's tried to have David killed. And we've talked about before just what Saul's jealousy leads him to do. It leads him to not recognize how David could actually benefit Saul as king, how David has these skills and these abilities that Saul really needs, and that if instead of being jealous of David's abilities and instead be, if, if Saul was grateful for them, what great things they could have accomplished for Israel. We talked about how Jealousy prevents Saul from being able to recognize the gifts God's given to David. And more than that, it prevents Saul from being able to be the king that he really needs to be. Well, here in chapter 22, we see one of the other more tragic effects, even, of King Saul's jealousy. Because a few chapters ago, this priest in this part of Israel, who really wasn't doing anything despite King Saul, had helped King David. He did something unknowingly in a way that helped King da or helped David evade Saul. So Saul calls this priest into his presence. He questions the priest about the thing he does. He gets so angry over the fact that the priest decided to help David, even though the priest really didn't do anything wrong. And then Saul orders that this priest be killed. And more than that, he orders that the priest's entire family be killed. Men, women, children, animals, you name it. Saul had all of them killed. So it's crazy, it's tragic to think about what King Saul's jealousy meant for King Saul, what it meant for David, what it meant for people that had just absolutely nothing to do with this rivalry that King Saul decided to have with David. And I think it serves as such a tremendous warning for us about what we let our own jealousies do in our life. It prevents us from having friendships with certain people. It prevents us from being able to see the gifts and the talents and the abilities those individuals have. It prevents us from being the church that we need to be in some ways or being the community that we need to be. Our uh, jealousy can prevent us from being able to do just so many things. So let this chapter serve as a warning to you about the role that jealousy plays in your life. Let it be a warning to you about jealousy, about how it not only hurts you, it hurts others as well. So think about that in the days to come, and we'll see you on Friday morning for 1 Samuel chapter 23.